Hi friends, Pam Shepard with Pamela Shep Productions here. And I got my big old Timu order. So I thought we better go through it and find out what all's in here. And then I will tell you how much I paid for everything, okay? You can see they just bag up the package. I'm sure that's one reason they can do it this cheaply. Be careful as we go. Okay, wow, here we go. And here's a little um, funnel that I purchased. And I think I paid 69 cents for this or something to that effect. Should try to get these in order, but I'm always needing a funnel. And I thought, oh, I don't really need it, but then it was like, okay, let me look. Here we go. And then here's a little sewing machine pen. It's so cute. One of these was 79 71 cents. Oh, how cute is that? Isn't that cute? Oh, I got a handful of these. I'll get those out in a minute. But I needed some slap bands. I needed to um, to mark a lot of my different rolls of items. And I have a brother. Uh, I have a brother um, printer. You know, a label printer. So, oh, see, I had it hit it the wrong way. I guess it folds up this way. Yeah. And see, I could actually even write on it or put one of my labels on it. Yeah. There are 20 of them for $5.99. So that's pretty cool. So let me use this one to hold them all together. There we go. Here are some craft ink blending. And you get 10 of them for $7.00. And 38 cents. What I wanted to know if this is actually brushes. Oh, wow, wow, it is. Look at hmm. And I've been wanting some of those, but at the Dollar Tree, they're a dollar and a quarter each, and they all are exactly the same. Well, you could get a couple different sizes, but I thought this would be fun because in the evening, sometimes when I'm watching TV with my husband, I have a table over behind the sofa. And so uh, I've been needing to get one of my deals to to do some, uh, you know, some blending and making cards and such. So you get, that's a pretty good deal, really. You get 10 of them for $7.38. And they look nice. We'll, we'll try them and what we think but those look nice put this down and then I got oh I bet these are some of the flowers I bought maybe but since they're rolled up like that in a pink bag don't know let's see yes well, you got to say, they packaged them pretty okay. I don't know how flat they are. Oh, they're pretty, though. Have to floof them out, but... Okay, so these were uh, $1.78. But you know what? Those are pretty cute, and you'd have to fluff them out. I got three different ones I got... One that was a really light, uh, I think they called one of them red rose, one pink, and one champagne. So I don't know which is which. They're actually pretty nice little flowers. This looks like it would be the champagne. Ooh. Oh, wow. I mean, they have to fluff out, but actually... They're not bad for $1.78. Hmm. So then, let's see, one of these. It almost looks like I got four of them, but 
Maybe I accidentally ordered two of one. I did. I ordered two of the rose color. But there's four of these. We'll see. Oh, maybe this is the the um, the pink, the light pink. So that must be the darker one. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Would look adorable in little after it puffs out a little bit. It would look adorable in little vases, you know, little old-fashioned vases. You could even doll up a little um, canning jar. And this one has to be the champagne, yeah. I want to cut the flower, but boy, they really package these. Keep them safe, I guess. There we go. And this one would be the champagne. Yeah. You know, as they fluff out, they're, they're pretty, pretty nice looking flowers, honestly. I have to tell you, they're pretty nice looking flowers. For $1.78, yes, for sure. Oh, and then I ordered some of these um, little blenders, the ones that are, um, so you can do the center of flowers or small little areas, whichever. Those are pretty cute. They actually feel quite nice. And these were uh, $1.98, and there's two different sizes. I don't see the other one yet, so I'll just keep going. Put those over here with the blenders, and I'll move the flowers out of the way. Okay, and the sweet little sewing machine. That's adorable. I love that. Okay, then I ordered these earrings. Oh, they're pretty cute. They're, uh, I have a thing about hummingbirds. I'm really, really into hummingbirds. So, oh, look at these. Wow, they're pretty cute. Oh, wow, I like them a lot. And they're, you know, they're, they're heavy enough that they feel like they're okay. Okay, let's see what I paid for these little hummingbird earrings. Okay, $1.34. Oops, a dollar thirty-four. That's nice. Okay. Anyway, I think I ordered three of these. I was going to use these as dangles on um, sewing books or on the front of sewing books. I thought they were pretty cute. Those are, look the same. Okay. Then another thing I ordered was uh, some chalk for my sewing so that I could mark the fabric and this chalk the chalk a dollar ninety eight and there are ten ten of them the different colors and it's a dollar ninety eight yeah I, I I was happy to get this the different colors okay so then I ordered yeah your seam binding or your whatever and going through there it looked interesting to me. Um, it has the little snap for my brother. You can adjust it in and out, and you can put your your uh, bias tape through there. We'll see. We'll see what we think about that. Oh, and this I don't really like. I bought this, and it cost almost. It was very cheap. Well, it was a dollar thirty-eight, and it was to cut out a little hummingbird with your with your little cutting machine, but. I don't know if all those little tiny pieces will cut well. So that one I don't know about. But everything else so far has been pretty good. Okay, now this. I'm always wanting little leaves when I'm doing 
different cards and things. And I thought this looked pretty realistic in the in the um, picture. And you know, I don't think it's going to be that half bad. It's just different leaves. I thought that would be kind of cute on cards and such. And I think it actually looks pretty good. And I could even just deepen it with, with some ink. Huh. Let's see what I paid for that. I thought that was just kind of cool. It was... Where'd you go? There it is. 98 cents. And it says there's 395 feet. And it was 98 cents. Hmm. I think I'm going to like this. I think this is good. Okay. And then let's... Oh, this is a rotary cutter. I ordered a pink rotary cutter. I tried to order one before and they were out of the pink ones. Uh, it says high quality. 45 millimeter. Well, it, it works nicely. Hmm. Piece of fabric here. Oh, yeah, actually it, it works nice for now. I don't know how long it'll work for nice. This was five dollars and I want to say 48 Oh, you know when I was talking about this little um, collapsible funnel, it was 38 cents. <laughs> okay, and this is five dollars and 48 cents. I think I might like that one. I think I might like that. So far so good. Oops, and then, okay, I ordered these little dresses for my granddaughters. I got, um, they didn't, let's see, what did I actually get? I got, I've gotten dresses from them before and they were nice. So this five and six, they didn't have seven, eight, or six, eight. This might be a little short for the bigger girls, but they can wear little um, shorts under them. But this was, how much were these each? These were $7.57 for the to wear for the 4th of July. But they could wear little short leggings with them. I See, this is 5'6", and I th my granddaughters wear 6 right now. Alright, what's next? What's next? What is this? This is a box. Okay, this, oh, 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 okay. Oh, that's nice. These are for my wax seals. I got that for the wax seal. I got this to pour the wax in when it was hot so that it would make a shape around it. Um, let me see how much I paid for for those. Okay, so for this is $1.88. And for... Yeah, and I got a couple of different shapes of them to pour the wax in. And I think I accidentally got two of the same. No, they're a little different. They're different ones, bigger. Those are $1.88. And then this um, was $2.48. And here's the deal. I purchased last time I ordered from Timu. I got one of these little melting pots. I thought they were so cute and they were so expensive that I just kind of made up my own. Let me put this this way. And this one, I, where you put your, uh, your little tea light candle underneath there, and then you put your little spoon on there and let it melt, and then you pour it in this if you want to, and then you can make a seal. Okay, well, this little spoon works per was going to be perfect for my coffee grounds that I grind up. And so I had to order <laughs> I had to order another one so I could get that extra spoon. So, in here somewhere, oh here. I ordered an extra just the spoon. Okay, the melting just the spoon itself is $1.38. And the melting pot with the spoon was um, two twenty-eight. So I thought I, that's going to be perfect to go in my little coffee 
uh, container where I grind up my coffee beans. I just don't, I don't do a ton of them at once, but I need enough room at the top that I can keep the spoon in there. So I'll get that all cleaned up real nice and put it in there. Then I, I didn't, I've never really purchased anything, but this little tool was supposed to be super good for using with your wax. And then I thought, oh, I don't really need that. But then it was 98 cents and it's silicone. And so I thought, I'm going to go ahead and get that. That's kind of a cool, cool thing for 98 cents. And then another thing I got uh, several of was I bought these little scissors that are like the little storks because I make sewing natal books and they're so adorable. They're really, really cute. And I like to put uh, scissors in them, but I wanted cute ones. And uh, here's a rose gold one. It's got the little cover on the tip of it. And here's a multicolored one. Here's a gold one. And um, those little scissors are so cute. They were, okay. $2.18 a piece for the rose gold one and a dollar forty-eight for the gold one. And then the other ones were two oh eight. A little bit different price each. The rose gold, of course, was the most expensive one. Um I got oh here was another one that was rose gold. Okay, so then I after I put those in my in my um basket I found this little spoon and I thought oh how cute is that but I don't think it's going to pick up the grounds nearly as well as this one but how cute was that one I thought well that's adorable you can't put this wooden one on there to to melt your stuff but let's see how much did I pay for that little wooden spoon I paid 98 cents I think one of these are going to work better. The one that I'm using right now is about this long, which is too long. So I just needed a little shorty to work inside my container for my for my um, coffee grounds. Okay, I needed a Teflon foot because I've been making some Aunt, Aunt, bags by Annie, and um, there's vinyl on the front of them, and they really stick. Well, these were two, which I just ordered one on Amazon. One was $8.98 on Amazon. And these were two of them. Oh, here they are. Two of them for $0.99. Cents. So we're going to see how they work, and especially in comparison to the ones from Amazon. And I ordered myself another one of these where you... Um, you put it on your guitar arm and then you then you can just press one button to play a whole chord. Um, I had one and I gave it away to a friend and so I ordered myself another one of these but I thought how fun is that? I'm going to play with that a little bit. Um, and it is, let's see, how much was this? I paid $25 for the other one that I ordered online. And this one was like two dollars and something. Very big difference. Oh, here we go. No, that's not it. Oh, here it is. Two dollars and ninety-eight cents. And I paid twenty-five dollars just ordering it online, just from a somewhere. And plus, I had to pay shipping. So this was two dollars and thirty-eight cents. Same exact box. Same everything exactly. Okay. Then I got this. I thought this lace was so pretty. And it was two yards for a dollar forty-eight. Very pretty. I actually have some like this um, that I've purchased online. Um, I know I would have paid more than a dollar forty-eight for two, but maybe not a lot more. But isn't that pretty? Very, very pretty. Nice. It feels feels really quite nice actually that's nice okay I've been I need some labels like this kind of labels um, 
I needed some of these and they they were um, 15 sheets for three dollars and 48 cents so they're 15 sheets of and it you can get different sizes I wasn't sure which size I wanted but these this size will work perfectly for what I need it but there's 15 sheets of these and there's 10, 20, 30, 40 on every every sheet. So 15 times 40, and it was three dollars and what I tell you, three dollars and 48 cents. It's not bad. And then I ordered these when I was trying to get some labels. Now these, um, it says 300 pieces. I don't know for a dollar 98, and these I think. Um, might be removable. You can put these on. Um, let me tear that scotch tape off. Ooh. Um, I think these you can put them on your spices and your jars and whatever else you need. And I'm not sure if these are considered removable. I don't know. But they are cute. I do have to say that. So I don't know what I really need those for. Okay, here's some more of those little... Uh, there were two different sizes of these little blenders that you can do in the center of flowers or on just around the little edges. Yeah, but this was the other... It was like just one little size bigger with this group. And I think they were both exactly the same price. Um, yeah, $1.98 for three. They feel quite nice, honestly. Yeah. Um, so this one, little tiny bit different in size, not much, not much at all. Okay, and then another one of these little scissors that has flowers on it, very floral, and then. Uh, this was kind of a cool thing. We'll see how good it works. It's got a C um, adapter thing on it. And what it is, is you plug it into your computer or whatever. We'll take the C and you can put your um, U U USB or a, I guess the little card like you use on a phone or the SD cards. So that's kind of a cool little thing. And you know, this was only... I don't know how good it's going to be because it was only like, yeah, $2.18. But honestly, I've purchased several of them from Amazon, and they don't work very long at all. And these, okay, I think this is also different bias tape. You click that on there, it adjusts out. You can adjust it. I don't know, I'd have to just kind of read about these. But these are called... Um, two pieces of adjustable bias tape foot and they're three dollars and thirty eight cents for two of them and I think yeah they're exactly the same looks like they're exactly the same so we'll see this one you can adjust quite a bit we'll see how that goes okay now I ordered two <laughs> I ordered two of these uh, let's see, do they both come in the same pack? No, here's the other one. Okay, what this is, is the pillow cover. I thought it was so pretty. And it was, um, I think it was $1.98. $1.98. Oh, for two of them. You get two of them for $1.98. So, okay, let's see if they're any quality at all. Well, man, they're soft. They're almost... They're almost, um, gosh, I don't know what to say. Almost velour or something, just so soft. And they're, I think they were for a 17 inch pillow. Oh, it's 45 by 45 inches. And you got two of them for $1.98. And I thought they were so pretty. You know, they feel quite nice. Um, let's see, do they have a zipper or, yeah, a hidden zipper even yeah actually they're not bad 
two, two of them for $1.98. It's kind of pretty. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and they don't smell bad. So I noticed some people said some things smell bad. Those don't smell bad at all. And this, um, this is something I was so excited to get. We have four new little baby chicks, and I'm so excited about our little chicks. They're really growing, and they're getting big. But they had this for sale, which is a net that you put, you can put like a head of cabbage in here, in this net, and then you take and you hang it up from the top of the, uh, of the cage, or whatever you want to call it, the little chicken house, and then they just, they can peck on it and play and play and play with the head of cabbage. How fun is that? <laughs> I think it was two dollars and... Let me see how much it was. Yeah, two dollars and seventy-eight cents. They had a few different colors to choose from, and here's the deal: my husband uh, got one of the nets off of where you get vegetables or onions or whatever. But they all had a big, uh, they had a piece of metal down there, and I was a little worried about that for the little chicks and all. So they've been loving. We've been giving them uh, half of an apple at a time, and they love that. So I think they're going to love this. I'm so excited. That's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then I thought these were so pretty to use on uh, either junk journals or... I make these um, calendar books that are just way cool, and I love these. I guess kind of like a... I don't know if you call it a filigree... Uh, but these corners, I think they're so pretty. I really liked them. These were, they have them in different colors. And these were, let me see, uh, this 30 pieces for $1.88. This one, I think, was the bronze. Um, they have silver and they have other colors as well. But I thought, well, I'm just going to get the whole box of bronze and see what I think. But I really like these. And they're lightweight enough, you could actually even use them on a card but they're nice they they seem nice there's 30 pieces in there so that's good and then I got some of this because I've been making jewelry but these are too big I never really know the right size that I need so I went ahead and ordered this size and I'm gonna pay attention and I need I need a few smaller ones but I got the gold the rose gold and the I don't know if they call that antique, or let me see how much I paid. Okay, they call this one, um, I don't know what they call this one. It was 67 cents, and you get 2, 4, 6, 8, I think 10 of them. Yeah, it says 10. And the rose gold, 67 cents. And then the gold gold was $1.27. So, you can't go too wrong with that price. Um, then I ordered, I mean, to get back to my box, into my box, I wanted some paper tape. Uh, I've been doing some embroidery um, applique, and sometimes I need to tape stuff down. So I just needed some paper tape. Let me see how much this was. I saw it at the top. Um... Three rolls for um, two dollars and ninety-eight cents, and let's see if it's um, it, it's not bad. I mean, it's sticky for sure. It almost is like a cross between paper tape and uh, masking tape, but so it's just a good sticky. But it's not so bad that it's. Yeah, it's not going to give give somebody problems at all. So this will work fine. And this was, what did I say it was? Let me look at the price again. Three rolls for $2.98. And it, they're pretty good sized rolls. It says it has... <coughs> uh, <coughs> it says 787.4 inches per roll. So, I don't know. That's crazy. So I, got, I was glad to get those. And then I ordered these. I, I needed some little um, project bags for cutting up different 
uh, from you know cutting up my um, pieces of fabric to keep them with whatever you know design I was using at the time. So this one, let me see how much I paid for these. I didn't know if it would be smarter to just make my own. Here we are, ten of them for five dollars and eighty-seven cents. Now. The zipper seems pretty nice as far as that. Well, actually, these these are actually pretty okay. Actually, they're they're not bad at all. Ten of them. I mean, I don't think they're gonna. Now I bought some from the Dollar Tree, and they are. Let's see. Here's what I was having to do before. I was using Ziploc bags and. Then I ordered, I, I went to the Dollar Tree, and I got, where are the ones from the Dollar Tree? I got these from the Dollar Tree. I think you got three of them, but they uh, they do tear quite easily. They rip, this one, it snaps. Um, so I got those, and they do tear. So, I mean, I could have went back and got those, but I thought, I'm going to order these, and... Um, then I had to, I just sewed these together with embroidery thread and then I put this on there so I could hang it on my cart so that it's up out of the way while I'm doing my embroidery. So it was kind of a makeshift. Okay, and these actually came with these little cards and I didn't know what to but you actually can just slide them in there. They all have a little pocket. So, yeah, you've got your pink and your green and your blue and your white and your teal and, and another pink. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think for $5, it's pretty okay. I mean, they've got like a, a netting that strengthens them. They're, they're pretty strong. So I'm impressed. I wouldn't mind having one more whole batch of those. I think that'd be great. So anyhow, I think that takes care of everything that I ordered this time. And I, I did I show you this close up enough? Anyhow, yeah, it came with all these little cards, and I thought, where did these go? But I see that it has the little... So what I would do is put some little paper tape on there and mark what it is this time, and then after... I'm done with this project, then I would take the paper tape off and put tape for the next one. Yeah, so anyhow, there you have it. That's my purchases, my fun household and crafting purchases um, for today. So don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and, um, and a like and I will get you another video out just maybe even tomorrow. Okay? I'll talk to all you good people later, okay? Bye-bye!